Welcome back to Skyrim. My name is Squiddy, and I'm here with my two faithful companions, Barbus the Dog and Mr. Jazaga. Uh, if you can remember last episode, it was actually a live stream. Um, yeah, I don't know how well that went. I think it went all right. I don't think I'm gonna do it again because uh, a lot of people missed it and uh, they didn't like it because they couldn't see my beautiful face. Nah, no, I'm joking. Uh, it was just, it was a bit, like, on live streams, I could only, like, stream to 480p, and, um, yeah, a lot of people miss the stream, because the stream's all about interactivity, and being able to talk with your audience and stuff like that, so I think I'm going to keep uh, my Skyrim, oh, there's a horse down there, and I'm going to keep my Skyrim uh, just pre-recorded and recorded, and, nope, I don't think I'm bother, going to bother live streaming it. Um, so, yeah, anyway, welcome back, guys, last episode, if you missed it, I'll give you a quick recap, what we basically did is we found this dog called Barbus. He wanted us to take it back to his owner, which was in these uh, falls. It was it was in these, I don't know. We went to take it back to the shrine anyway, and this guy said he's not taking him back unless we retrieve his axe. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with Barbus. We've got to retrieve an axe. And this quest is absolutely miles away. It's right the way over here. It's in the top left-hand corner of the map. It's the furthest we've ever been. Um, and we've only got uh, the statue of Meridia. Uh, this is the closest thing we've got to it. So we're going to fast travel here. And yeah, we're going to do it, guys. We're going to jolly go do it. Um, so anyway, if you guys don't know, um, I, haven't been, I didn't put Skyrim up yesterday. And if Skyrim doesn't come up, um, like, don't moan, if you know what I mean. Because I know I know it's hard. I know I said I'm going to try and keep it out daily. Uh, but at the moment, it's like a really busy time because I'm trying to get my 100k video out. And... It does take literally about, I don't know, it, it takes a hell of a lot of time. Uh, but I've quit my job, if you guys didn't know. I've quit my job to be a full-time YouTuber. Uh, so hopefully my schedule should be pretty much perfect <laughs> from now on. Uh, I'm trying to release Skyrim at about 5 o'clock, when, I, like when I first started. Uh, so hopefully from now on, uh, Skyrim will roll out every single day uh, at around 5 o'clock. As I said, there might be some days where I, I might miss it. But there's... Is that a dragon? I just saw a dragon. I just saw a dragon over the over my head while I was giving you guys a little talk. Oh, my God. Right, come on, Jazago. Like, what's that other noise? What's he attacking? He's not attacking me. Hello? Oh, my God, he's attacking a load of... Uh... We need dragon rend. Dragon rend, guys. We need dragon rend. Come on, where's dragon rend? Uh... Here we go. It interrupted our conversation. It doesn't matter. Did we get it? Did we get it? I think we got it. Who are these guys? Who is this? And it killed... Ooh, a Thalmor. Oh, God, I don't like the Thalmor. Uh, right, we need to... Come on, we need to do these guys. Fireballs. I'll just hit a tree. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're going to take this guy out. We're going to take care of him. Get him down again. Right, we need to get our dragon right now because it's super good against dragons. Oh, oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? I should be able to see like a, a 10 foot dragon, but apparently I can't. Where's he landed? He better not landed by Jazago and Arrow in this. Eh? He better not go up there. He better not try and kill my companions. Oh, look, Arrow's there. She's running. She's going to get killed. Arrow is going to get killed, guys. Here, come here, you oversized chicken wing. Look at me. Look at me. Oh my god, Arrow survived. Whew! That was a toughie. That was uh, that was a toughie. Arrow, you alright? Arrow's fine. Cool, right. Let's do this. Anyway, what were I saying now? I'm just gonna pick all these up. Pick all this stuff. I can give it all to, to Jazago, whatever he is. Um yeah, I don't even know what I was saying, guys. I think I was just basically saying that my schedule should be pretty much perfect from now on. Um and yeah, hopefully. The Skyrim should roll out at 5 o'clock every day. Uh, if it doesn't, then, yeah, I'm sorry, but... Yeah, it should do, so don't you worry. Don't you worry, guys. Don't you worry. Right, okay. Uh, let's try and get Jazago here. That's the reason I'm waiting, because I don't know where he is. And he should teleport to me if I wait. Here he is. He is the pussycat. I need to trade some you stuff with you, Jazago. Warm. This dog's pushing me <laughs> loads. Um, I need to trade some stuff with you, so please. Um... What, where's, where is it? Dragon bones. Oh no, we've already given him one dragon bone. Right, okay. Uh, let's give you some more dragon bones, because you look like you need some more. There we go. 
We're a perfect weight. Thank you, Desargo. Um, does he have any more scrolls Tajit in it? Your back. Um, you seem very sure there of yourself. There is much for Desargo to be sure of. Okay. There is skill in magic. There is charm and there is hey, a yeah, strong will. Um, anyway, yeah, as I said, uh, I am rolling up to uh, 100,000 subs on my channel, which is absolutely mind-blowing and it's crazy. And uh, I'm doing a couple of things for it. I'm doing, um, going to be doing a special video. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. You can wait and find out. I'm working on it now, as I've, as I've said. And uh, I'm also going to be live streaming all day. I'm going to be um, on my Skyland, live streaming some Skyland for uh, a few hours. And uh, I'm basically just going to be dedicating the, the day to you guys. I'm going to just basically make loads and loads of videos. And, um, well, loads and loads of videos. Loads and loads of live streams. I'm just going to be really interactive, and uh, yeah, should be pretty good. Uh, I've only got a plan to do Skyland for the live stream, I'm not really sure what else to do. Uh, if you guys have got any suggestions which games you want me to play, um, let me know, and I can download them or buy them. Um, I don't really know when I'm going to hit 100k, it's probably going to be in about three days or something. Uh, so yeah, leave your comments, and um, yeah, hopefully I can invite you guys onto my Skyland, and um, yeah, I can get a chance to play with you guys, because it's all about... Uh, giving back for you guys to be, because um, you've been supporting and supported me, supported my um, my awesome videos. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to that. It should be a really good day. I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, back to Skyrim, back to what's happening now, back to the present. Uh, we're heading over here. I should have really taken arrow because it's going to take me a while. Uh, but we've got some caves up here that we can um, we can like investigate and stuff. So yeah, it should be should be pretty cool. It's kind this 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 place is kind of like. I don't know, there doesn't seem to be much civilization in this place. It seems a bit wasted. Like a wasted land. There's a cave over here. Oh, there's some. Can I take any of this wood? Pine Moon Cave discovered. Hmm. I don't really want to go in there. Uh, but what I'm, I'm going to do is I will uh, wait an hour and then I'm going to jump on arrow because I need to go really fast to this location. So come on, where is she? Where's my arrow? Where's my arrow, darling? There's the pussycat. We have found a cave. I don't think there are warm fires and friendly faces inside. Ah, <laughs> Chizago, you're so funny. Why is the dog here? My pussycat here, but no horse. Do I have to fast travel here? I think I do. Should I fast travel? Let's fast travel to this place. Hopefully, Arrow will be here when I fast travel. Um, so, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do it. Where is she? Where's Arrow? There she is. There's Arrow. Let's jump on her. And let's ride to this place that we need to go. I'm not really sure... Um, if I'm doing, if this is like an evil quest or a good quest, a lot of people when I did the live stream said that the axe had killed the dog or something like that. I don't really know. I'll have to see. Um, I'll have to see what happens when I get the axe and we go. Whoa! And we go back. This place looks pretty cool. Have you seen this cave? It's awesome. I kind of feel like I'm going the wrong way, but I just want to discover this because all these caves, guys, we can discover. We can like lost echo. Okay, we can like set out in an episode and just do like a like a cave hunt. Just go out and explore all the caves and stuff. Um, so I do plan to do that. I want to get as like much as much stuff discovered as I possibly can, uh, because you get weapons and um, quite a lot of good loot in these caves, like off the off the track. You get a quite quite a lot of good stuff, like away from all the main quests. Uh, in the little side quest, you get some decent stuff. And we need to find that red eagle sword as well, which um, I unlocked from a book. I think it was. It was a book in a quest I got it from. Um, but this place is such a journey, such a trek across the mountains. I think I'm going to go down and around. I'm not really sure if this is going the right way, but we'll find out. Uh, this looks dangerous to go on a horse. Um, <laughs> can Arrow do this, do you think? Do you think Arrow can do this? I think I'm going to kill my horse again. Oh, God. Um, is it that far down? Should we? Can we drop down to this bit? Oh, we can, right? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go rock climbing with Arrow today, guys. <laughs> Look at this horse; he's beast. He's rock climbing like a boss over the mountains. Oh God! Oh God! Oh 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 yeah! Oh 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 oh! Oh, we did it! Yay! Right, we're gonna carry on riding around this place. I think we should be nearly here now. We've been riding around for quite a while. We seem to be in iceberg territory. I feel like I'm on the Titanic. Um, let's carry on going around this place. There doesn't seem to be many enemies or people around here. As I said, it's just like really dead. There's like no civilization at all. Uh, as he said that, there's a wolf! Jago! Jago, help! Squeeze getting killed by a wolf. Oh, no, he's hitting arrow. He's hitting arrow. Arrow, quick! 
up the mountain. How is my horse doing this? Jump. Jump. Jump, Barrow. Oh my god, I've got a flying horse, guys. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. What the? I don't think... I'm, I'm, I think I'm glitching the game out here. I think I'm literally... <laughs> What's my horse doing? <laughs> my horse has gone crazy. Literally, my horse has gone absolutely insane. I don't think we can get up here, can we? Am I just wasting my time? Can we jump? No. You know what? I'm just going to get off the horse. Horsey! Hara, you can stay there. Um, I'm going to do the rest. <laughs> just sliding down the mountain. <laughs> Don't you die, okay? Don't you die. Right, let's carry on going, guys. Let's try and get up this mountain. We should be nearly here now. We're literally, like, right on it. We need to get up to the top. I always end up coming like a stupid way up a up a up a proper steep mountain, like a vertical mountain. I never learn. Ah, I'm falling! I'm falling! Right, let's try and go up here. We try and get up this bit. There must be an easy way to get up here. Can we climb on Jazago's back? Surely we can get up this bit. This bit's doable, isn't it? it? Must be doable. Come on, let's strafe it like a boss. Good old Skyrim glitching. Come on, Squiddy, we can do this. He says, not going anywhere. Come on! Oh, oh, oh! Here we go. Here we go. I think there's like, is that a ship up there? Am I seeing things? I think I'm seeing things. It looks to be some kind of ship or something. Come on, we can walk this now, surely. Come on, come on, lizard. Come on, squidders. Come on, jump a bit more. Come on. Come on, just a bit more. Come on, just a. There we go. We nearly up, we nearly up, we nearly there. Um, Rhyme Rock Burrow discovered. <laughs> that took way too much effort. That took a lot of effort. And uh, you know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to fast travel here. I know I'm already here, right? But if I fast travel here, it's going to put me in the right place. It's not going to put me sliding down a mountain. So let's do this. Let's... Here we go. Look, all my gang's here now. I'm, uh, I'm on the right place. The, 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 the place we have to go is just around here. I'm not sliding down the mountain. Nobody's dead. We made it. Hallelujah. Right, Rhyme Rock Burrow. Here we go, guys. We've got the force. We've got the triforce. We've got the quad force. We got a hothy, we got a doggy, and we got a pussy cat. I'm like, I'm like a zookeeper. I right? look at all these, all these animals. Right, let's carry on going. Inside the cave. I feel really confident with Jazago behind me, and I think that dog's invincible because he's part of the quest. So you can't actually kill him. Oh, a flare, natch, natch. Uh, well, that was to be expected, I suppose. <laughs> I'm shooting a fire, a fireball at someone that's on fire. He's not really gonna flinch, is he? Um, destruction. Do we have any eyes? I think we do have some. What about some? So a couple of frostbite. You'll know what like that, will they? Here we go. This will be super effective. There we go. There's, a, there's, a, there's another major fear. Sebastian Lott he is. Jazago, take him out, dude. Take him out, buddy. Here we go. Sebastian's dead. He was no match for the for the quad force. A staff of fireballs. We already got one of them, I think. Does Jazago want it? Jazago? No, Jazago's already beast mode. Um, ooh, is this it? Surely that can't have been it. Really? That's like the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. What are these scrolls? These scrolls anything? What's it? Like, surely Jazago, that can't have been it. Like, we literally just came inside the cave. Has it got to be? Is there some more? There's some. There's some chests. That was the easiest thing I can safely say I've ever done in Skyrim. Uh, Jazago, look at this. Dwarven armor. Armor rating 39. It's a lot better than what we've got. An Imperial Buff Fatigue. And some Dwarven Gauntlets. And Robes of Minor Conjuration. I might sell these. I might give these to Jazago. Jazago, come here, mate. I've got some more stuff here. It's good if, if we can just like... sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. We will... <laughs> Okay, Jazago, so you use that big nose of yours to smell. Ah, right, Jazago, we're going to put you some armor because you look a little bit weak. So we've got some... What can we give him? Should we just give him everything? Give you that. <laughs> Jazago's wearing it. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's give you uh, the big armor because you're a, you're a big lad. You, can, you, you deserve it. Where is it now? If I just scroll past it. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Leather armor. It wasn't the leather armor. It was like dwarven, was it? Dwarven armor. Give you that. 
give you that. Um, and that's about it, Jazago. Holy moly, look at Jazago! Look at this guy! He's beast mode! Oh my god. Right, we're gonna take some uh, petty soul gem. Uh, I don't think we need anything else from this place. Has he got anything else? Um, got a pie? I'll have a pie! I won't say no to a pie. Is this anything? No, I'm not bothered about that. Um, bed, no. Right, let's head out, guys. We've actually done the quest, like, straight away. And we got some pretty decent loot. I'm actually going to take this um, this fireball thing off him because it's not that... It's, well, it's quite good. I think I did already. Oops. Right, let's head out. I think this is it, isn't it? There's no other treasure chests around the corner. Nothing else is there. Nothing else at all. No, I think we've pretty much looted everything, guys. We can head out now. Head out outside and uh, give this axe back to this um, this statue, this old statue guy. I really want to see what Jazago's like in a battle now because he's like, uh, he's proper tanked up, he's proper like, I don't know, armoured the hell up. Right guys, let's do some fast travelling, some good old fast travelling. We have to head back all the way down here, we've gone to the top right hand corner, down to the bottom right, top left hand corner, the bottom right hand corner, to uh, Hamel Shake, that's what I'm calling it anyway. We're going back here. Give the thing back to the statue, and uh, we need to make a decision about good old Poodles here. What we're going to do with him? I don't know what the uh, the choices we have, but we'll soon find out. I don't think they're going to be good ones. Um, looking at the comments from last episode, everyone's like, "He's going to kill the Poochie! Don't let him kill the Poochie! The Poochie, 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 Poochie!" I'm going to see what the decisions are like. I don't know whether I want this dog as a companion. I'll see. It's just another person to feed and another person to worry about. <laughs> Right, here we go, in here. Jolly good. Hamel Shake. Um, but I don't know, because he's, because he's like a, a quest kind of item, you can't sell them and you can't, they can't get hurt if they're a person. So, like, I think if I finish the quest, then he will be able to get killed. So I don't think it'll be worth it. Like, it'd be good if he'd be, like, undestructible and it could fall off things and he'd just be, like, crazy powerful. Uh, no, nothing up there, is it? It was round here, the place. So through the caves, we killed a lot of people, blah de blah de blah. Went round here, rounded down and rounded down. We jumped off here like a boss. Boop! Um, and then, was it through? Yeah, through here. A nice bloodstained counter. And uh, I, don't, I just think it's around this corner. I think this is the place we need to go to. I think we're nearly here. I think it is, is it? Yep, this is the place. Oh, no, we did a load of cool magic down here as well, didn't we, guys? Do you remember that? We went, pew, pew, pew. We killed a load of people. Some guy did some spells on a crazy guy. He came back to life. And this is the place. Through this. Hamel shake. Here we go. So, now we make a decision. Let's see what the statue says. See what our options are. See if the loot is worth the price of a killed poochie. It might be. It might not. I don't think Jazago could run with all that armor on. <laughs> I'm not surprised either, to be honest. There's loads of armor. I think he should be pretty powerful though. He's like more, he's more um, better armor rating than me. But I've got like a cool little magic, magic robe on and a magic mask. So I'm pretty. He should be the opposite, really. I should have all that stuff. And then if he if he could teach me all these cool spells, I'd be pretty awesome. I need to learn some more conjuration. I keep saying it, but I need to do this. Um, right, is this it? Is this the place? Here we go. This is where the statue is. There must be an easy option to get here. Uh, but hello, Mr. Shrine. Ah, you've got the axe. You got me axe. And my dog. And your poochie. Splendid. Yep, we're back. Now fulfill your end of the bargain. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... Storybook. Yeah. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Hmm. Give the rueful axe to Clavicus, or kill the poochie. So I can have a. Can I just have a look? I can't have a look at the axe, can I? Can we just have a quick look at the axe? See what stats it is. See if it's worth it. 
The rueful axe, here we go. There's 20 points. Um, no, I'm not bothered about the axe. And? Uh, I've been thinking it over and... Um, no deal. Take the axe and take back Barbus. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. Yep. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Um. Master, Master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, Matt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you. Now you trust me. Okay. What's gonna happen here then? Whoa! 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 Oh, that feels so much better. Oh! You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. Well, I didn't want to kill the poop. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few <laughs> decades of... Oh, fine. Have my bone and be done with it. Got more huh? interesting deals to make anyway. Maskers, mask of Clavicus added. Oh my god, we got a better deal here, guys, I think. See what he's giving us. Uh, it's in a bit of apparel. It's going to be under... Um, prices are 20% better. 10% speech craft. Magic re regenerates 5% faster. There we go. Awesome. So, I think we got a good end of the deal there. So, yeah. Jolly good, Jazaga. Let's get out of this cave. I'm sick of these... Talking statues. Anything in this chest for me? Does he put his axe back in this chest? No. Alright, let's get out of this hellhole. I'm sick of all these talking people. We got a mask out of it. I'm not sure if it was better than the axe, but... Yeah. We didn't kill the pooch, which is a good thing. I didn't know whether if we didn't kill him, it'd be our companion. So I didn't really know how that was going to play out and work out. Uh, but that guy seems evil. It kind of feels like he's going to come back and kill us because he was like... I feel more powerful now with my doggy by my side. So yeah, we probably might see him later on in the story. Um, I hope not, but I guess we'll have to see. Uh, right, guys, let's find out what we're going to do now. Let's find out which way we should go, what we should do in the storyline. Uh, we've got a wide open book. We've got no quest started. We can basically do anything we want. And I think this would be a good time for me to pull out my um, quests book. And, uh, yeah, guys, whoever's watching, take a look at this now. Take a look at all the quests that I've got. Take a good look at them and see which one you want to see next episode. So, there, I'm going to leave it there. It's the end of the episode here, guys. You're going to tell me next episode. Post down in the comments um, which one you want to do me see next. If there's none here which you want me to do, um, tell me uh, which one I should do and how to do it in the comments. And um, if anyone's watching and anyone sees a comment that you like or sees a comment that you think, yeah, I want Squid to do that, make sure you thumbs it up so I can see it so it gets to the top of the list. Uh, but yeah, my name's me, Squid. Uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Um, I'm going to make these 5 o'clock every single day. And um, yeah, that should be my schedule. I'm hopefully going to do 5 o'clock Skyrim and half past 7 to 8 o'clock for Minecraft. So yeah, make sure you check them out. And um, I'll see you later, guys. I've got to now go work on my 100k video some more, so I'll see you in a bit. Bye!